Welcome to Today in Nerd History for April 5th. Happy Future First Contact Day. In Star Trek fandom, it's the holiday celebrated by good people of the galaxy in tribute to the first flight of the Phoenix and the pivotal first interaction between humans and Vulcans. The event took place, or will take place, depending on how you look at it, on April 5th, 2063. That evening, a Vulcan survey ship landed in Bozeman, Montana, after tracking the warp signature of the Phoenix, a spacecraft that represented mankind's first successful attempt at achieving warp drive. And, of course, moments later on that same day, a robed Vulcan flashing the split-fingered Vulcan salute greeted Dr. Zephyrin Cochran, creator of the warp drive and pilot of the Phoenix. Thus, first contact was made, setting in motion a chain of events that led to the formation of the United Federation of Planets. Remembering Gregory Peck, born April 5, 1916, and passed away June 12, 2003. He was an American actor who starred in movies such as Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound, Roman Holiday, Moby Dick in 1956 and its 1998 miniseries, The Guns of Navarone, Cape Fear in 1962 and its 1991 remake, How the West Was Won, and The Omen. He won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in To Kill a Mockingbird. Remembering Betty Davis, born April 5, 1908, and passed away October 6, 1989. She was an American actress with a career spanning more than 50 years and 100 acting credits. Some of her movies include Of Human Bondage, Dangerous, Marked Woman, Jezebel, Dark Victory, The Letter, The Little Foxes, All About Eve, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. She was the co-founder of the Hollywood Canteen, a club venue for food, dancing, and entertainment for servicemen during World War II and was the first female president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. She was also the first woman to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. Remembering Spencer Tracy, born April 5, 1900, and passed away June 10, 1967. He was an American actor who was in movies such as Fury, Captain's Courageous, Boys Town, and Woman of the Year. During his career, he appeared in 75 movies. Remembering Frank Gorshin, born April 5, 1933, and passed away May 17, 2005. He was a comedian and actor who played Commissioner Bale in the Star Trek episode, Let That Be Your Last Battlefield. He may be best remembered for playing the Riddler in the 1960s Batman TV series. Happy Birthday, Roger Davis, born April 5, 1939. In 1964, he was in the episode of The Twilight Zone called Spur of the Moment, from 1968 to 1970, he played multiple characters on Dark Shadows, including Peter Bradford, Jeff Clark, Ned Stewart, Dirk Wilkins, and Charles Delaware Tate. In 1971, he narrated the voiceover theme sequence for Alias Smith & Jones, and then played Hannibal Hayes in the show after the actor Peter Duell died. In Galactica 1980, he played Andromus in the episode The Night the Cylons Landed Part 1 and Part 2. (laughs) 
Happy birthday, Mitch Pelegi, born April 5th, 1952. He played Horace Pinker in Shocker, Walter Skinner on The X-Files, Colonel Stephen Caldwell on Stargate Atlantis, Ernest Darby in Sons of Anarchy, Harris Ryland in the TNT revival of Dallas, and the role of Sam and Dean Winchester's maternal grandfather, Samuel Campbell, in the TV series Supernatural. <laughs> Happy birthday, Haley Atwell, born April 5th, 1982. She is probably best known for playing Peggy Carter in the various Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and TV series. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tasia Valenza, born April 5th, 1967. She played the Vulcan Tashanik in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Coming of Age. She is perhaps best known for her Emmy-nominated role as Dottie Thornton Martin in the daytime soap opera, All My Children. She also played Lieutenant Kelly Ann Winslow in Space Above and Beyond. She returned to Star Trek in 2017 with a voiceover role in the first two episodes of Star Trek Discovery as the computer voice for the USS Shinzo. Happy birthday, Alexander Enberg, born April 5, 1972. He has played young Vulcan engineers on two Star Trek series, Tauric on Star Trek The Next Generation and Vorik on Star Trek Voyager. He also played the reporter in Time's Arrow and the non-canon crewman Austin Chong in Star Trek Voyager Elite Force and Star Trek Elite Force 2. In 2007, Enberg played the role of Jason, the crazy theater director, in the independent feature film Never Say Macbeth. Happy birthday Michael Ryder, born April 5, 1952. He played a transporter chief in four episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. One as a security guard. His scene from the episode The Naked Now was cut from the aired episode. Remembering Judith Resnick, born April 5, 1949 and passed away January 28, 1986. Judith Arlene Resnick was an American electrical engineer, software engineer, biomedical engineer, pilot and NASA astronaut who died when the Space Shuttle Challenger was destroyed during the launch of Mission STS-51-L. She was the second American woman in space and the fourth woman in space worldwide, logging 145 hours in orbit. She was the first Jewish woman of any nationality in space. The IEEE Judith Resnick Award for Space Engineering is named in her honor. Initially planning to be a concert pianist, she turned down a place at the Juilliard School of Music, choosing instead to study at Carnegie Mellon University after being one of only 16 women in the history of the United States to have attained a perfect score on the SAT exam at the time. She went on to graduate with a degree in electrical engineering from Carnegie Mellon before attaining a PhD in electrical engineering from the University of Maryland. Recognized while still a child for her intellectual brilliance, she went on to work for RCA as an engineer on NASA missile and radar projects, was a senior systems engineer for Xerox Corporation and published research on special-purpose integrated circuitry before she was recruited by NASA to the astronaut program as a mission specialist at age 28. While training on the astronaut program, she developed software and operating procedures for NASA missions. She was also a pilot and made research contributions to biomedical engineering as a research fellow of biomedical engineering at the National Institutes of Health. Happy birthday Alexandra Leiden, born April 5, 1979. She played the role of Jamal in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, The Enar. Remembering John Berg Born April 5, 1949 and passed away December 15, 2007. John Edward Berg was an actor, writer, director, and political activist who played a Romulan senator in Star Trek Nemesis. 
Although his dialogue scenes were cut from the final film, he still received on-screen credit. It was his only feature film credit. Remembering Robert Block, born April 5, 1917, and passed away September 23, 1994. Robert Albert Block was an American fiction writer, primarily of crime, psychological horror and fantasy, much of which has been dramatized for radio, movies, and TV. He also wrote a relatively small amount of science fiction. His writing career lasted 60 years, including more than 30 years in television and film. Best known as the writer of Psycho, 1959, the basis for the film of the same name by Alfred Hitchcock, Block wrote hundreds of short stories and over 30 novels. He was a protege of H. P. Lovecraft, who was the first to seriously encourage his talent and began his professional writing career immediately after graduation, age 17. However, while Block started his career by emulating Lovecraft and his brand of cosmic horror, he later specialized in crime and horror stories dealing with a more psychological approach. He was a contributor to pulp magazines such as Weird Tales in his early career, and was also a prolific screenwriter, and a major contributor to science fiction fanzines and fandom in general. He won the Hugo Award for his story, That Hellbound Train, the Bram Stoker Award, and the World Fantasy Award. He served a term as president of the Mystery Writers of America and was a member of that organization and of Science Fiction Writers of America, the Writers Guild of America, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, and the Count Dracula Society. In 2008, the Library of America selected Bloch's essay, The Shambles of Ed Gain. 1962 for inclusion in its two-century retrospective of American true crime. His favorites among his own novels were The Kidnapper, The Star Stalker, Psycho, Nightworld, and Strange Eons. His work has been extensively adapted into movies, TV productions, comics, and audiobooks. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show... Please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.